it's time to play Family Feud. Give it up for Juan Gonzalez. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, folks. Today's gonna be a good one for you guys. Okay, so let's just get this game going. Okay, welcome to Family Feud. And so coming all this way from Chicago, we have the Extra Family. Yikes, this is gonna be interesting. And coming all the way from Virginia, we have the Virginia family! So, like, where's the rest of your family? Anyway, today's gonna be a special episode, so we're gonna keep it educational over here, okay? This episode's theme is gonna be about inbreeding depression. Lame. No, no, it's gonna be a little interesting, I promise you, I promise you that, okay? So in order to understand today's episode, we're gonna play a little minute brief video from our sponsors. Genetic diversity. It is needed to preserve a population. But when populations get smaller from the founder effect or population bottleneck, inbreeding can increase and cause Inbreeding depression! <laughs> inbreeding depression is the reduction in fitness and has deleterious effects on the plant's reproduction and survival. However, as generations pass, inbreeding depression is expected to decrease as the plants with deleterious alleles are purged this out. This is so boring! There's this one plant, O. primaveris, that is hypothesized to have a variation in flower size to visualize the amount of inbreeding depression. Alright, Juan. Now let's get this game started. Thank you, ghost man, wherever you're being played at. So, can we get one person from each family to come up to the podium? So we surveyed a few scientists from the Chicago Botanic Garden, and the top five answers are on the board. What results would you expect to have when comparing inbreeding depression from flower size? I know. 11. Good answer, good answer. Good answer. That was thinking, that yes. That was good, that was really good. Yeah, no, no, that was a dumb answer. All right, Virginia team, do you have an answer? Uh, okay. Well, since all the flowers have been known to have a high level of inbreeding, after one generation, you would expect that the smaller flowers have less inbreeding depression, since the deleterious alleles would be like, burst out. However, like, if the purchase is not fair, the larger flowers of course have less inbreeding depression. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna end that situation. <laughs> There we have it folks, that is Family View. The Virginia family has won, and boy am I shocked. I didn't know that you had that in you. Well tune in next time. Thank you for watching Family View. This is so boring.